All aboard! That's what I would have liked to have said. Unfortunately, there's more to talk about. Let's get into it. So, guys, I've actually seen this movie one and a half times now. I slept through half of it the first time. Wasn't really the movie's fault. I was very, very tired. I shouldn't have been there. Whatever. Saw it the second time. Really, really, really wanted to like this movie. Really wanted to like this movie. I wanted to like it before I saw it. I wanted to like it when I was watching it. I wanted to like it. I want to like it now. But I don't. I don't, I don't know another way to explain that to you i just I, I wanted to like it but but i don't it, it's it's a comedy that just didn't make me laugh and that's kind of the end uh, buck stops there right you know it's comedy doesn't make you laugh you know tear jerker doesn't make you cry i i don't what do you do with it i i, I couldn't tell what i couldn't tell what they missed there was something missing, and I couldn't, for the life of you, tell you what it is. And I, it, the script was fine. Like, I didn't have any moments where I'm like, eh, they could have done this, or oh, they should have done that. I kept thinking, man, I, this is just my brand of comedy, and I'm just not laughing. And I couldn't, I can't place my finger on exactly why. And... I it, I can't put it down to the script. I can't put it down to the acting. I thought it, I thought the acting actually went above and beyond the script. Uh I can't put a I can't put it on the cinematography even though it was kind of it was all right, you know, it wasn't great. Uh yeah, I wasn't like super impressed by anything I saw. There were some very obvious green screen shots that do pull you out a little bit if you know what you're looking for. Thank you Quarter Crew for ruining movies just like Fight for a, ruin the cigarette burns. Just... Speaking of fight club uh this is a pretty well story director you know he's done uh atomic blonde he's done the john wick movies he did fight club he did uh deadpool 2 which was also kind of eh. it, it just <sighs> looking at this list of movies he's done it feels like he's trying to dip his toe into comedy and he just doesn't quite have it, it he he knows all the pieces he needs and he just can't figure out how to put them together i don't know if they need a better producer or someone to assist in directing or I, I don't know but something's missing from this movie and i can't put my finger on it and that, that's just the sad reality i'm gonna have to live with i really wanted to like this movie i did i think you might like it, it you know if you can just uh, there was a lot of people i don't want to say a lot of people about 30 percent of my theater laughed at the jokes but they laughed hearty and loud and they had a good time. But I, <sighs> my crowd just kind of murmured when it was over. There was no, you know, everyone just kind of seemed to be happy to leave. I feel like a lot of people felt about it the same way I did. I don't know. So we're going to get into spoilers. Um, Probably going to recommend skipping this one. So, Maybe don't skip spoilers. I don't know. It's up to you. If you want to see it, I don't think there's really a plot to spoil here. I don't, I don't know. We're going to find out. That's up for you to decide. But we'll give it a score. For me, it was a very 5 out of 10 movie. And I, I hate to say that, guys. But it just it felt average. Maybe 6 out of 10 if I'm feeling very, very generous. But I'm not. I just left. And I'm not. I'm not feeling generous. I'm sorry. I... It was average. It was a 5 out of 10 for me. It, you know, it's just... It didn't do it for me. Uh, on my 3-star scale, this this does make it on the scale. This isn't a Morbius, but it's it's a 1 on the scale for me, guys. You know, catch it on your couch at home when you have some friends around. Maybe you got some beers in here or something. Everyone's a little lively. You know, you can walk in and out of the room. doesn't really matter. Make some jokes about it. I think that's going to be your best experience with this movie. But... Let's move on to spoilers so I can talk about what I thought did and didn't work. And, uh, yeah, see you there. Alright, so, 
I, mm, I, I think the best way I can describe why this movie didn't work is kind of like this top hat. It's just trying a little bit too hard, isn't it? You're just trying a little bit too hard to be funny. You you know you know it can be funny. You know it could be funny, and it just you just you're doing a little too much. You're doing a little too much. It's like me with the accent right now. You're just doing a little too much. It could be funny, and you're just not letting it breathe. You gotta let it breathe. And this movie didn't do that. They they had this incredible cast, and they had this incre- I don't want to say incredible idea. They had this good idea, and they just didn't let it feel natural they didn't they didn't quite like i i don't i couldn't think of a bad performance in this movie it's just it wasn't tied together very well and i i don't know if that's from the direction the production i don't know if the studio got involved and screwed some stuff up i don't know if it was just like a budgetary issue that got in the way of something but one way or another this movie missed the mark from start to end it just didn't it was trying to do too much right because you've got all these different characters they're trying to wrap in. You've got Brad Wolf, who's just on a simple snatch and grab job. You've got Sandra Bullock in his ear the whole time, who is fine, I guess. Uh, you've got a guy named the Wolf, who's there for revenge for a family that was murdered by uh, the Hornet, who's there the whole time dressed up as a lovable Japanese anime character. And that's just kind of weird. And, you know, then you've got the, the, the twins who are there for the white wolf white wolf i think uh for the white wolf's son and the ransom money and they're there to protect him but the white wolf's son dies and it's this whole thing and jesus christ it's hot in this room without air conditioning holy fuck jesus um and then you've got uh, what other fucking stories are laid into this then you've got some guy whose son was almost murdered by the daughter of the white wolf who did it to get this guy on the train to use this guy to kill her father who's the white wolf because she didn't love her she didn't love him enough or some shit and you know it then you've got the the guy who the girl's using to kill her dad his dad has like a whole beef with the white wolf from when he killed his uh, boss or whatever and they try to tie all these stories together and it's just Oh, I can't even explain it. It doesn't make any fucking sense. They, they have 18 stories. And none of them are connected. And they try really hard to pretend that they do, that they are connected. And it just doesn't at any point work. I don't care about any of these characters. The only funny parts of this movie are when it just kind of felt like Brad Pitt. And I don't fucking, the fuck is his name? Hold on. Brian Henry, Brian Tyree Henry, uh, and when they let them just kind of go off the rails and Aaron Taylor Johnson, uh, when they kind of let them go off the rails and just be funny, uh, it seems to work. You get these kind of interesting fight scenes and they're comical and they're not. And but this movie has this weird mixed tone where it randomly tries to get very serious and it plays sad music and it wants you to care. And I people in my theater kept laughing during these moments that were supposed to be like tender and loving and you know it's like you, you've got uh lemon and tangerine are the the twins and tangerine dies and lemon's mourning the loss of his brother and uh, this guy in my fucking theater is just laughing his ass off and i i couldn't even disagree with him i i, I found his laughter more funny than like any scene in the movie just because they're they, they tried to have this very serious tone at several points throughout the movie and it just it didn't fucking work I don't know what to tell. It didn't work. I I don't. There's no other. It two plus two equals five in this movie. I don't know what it is. They fucked up basic math and it didn't work. They didn't show their work. They missed a comma somewhere. They they didn't carry the one. Someone screwed up. This movie didn't work. They didn't know what it wanted to. Did it want to be a comedy? Did it want to be an action comedy? Did it want to be a thriller? It doesn't fucking know. And I hold on. Let me see what this is fucking. Um. What did what did they say this movie was? Did they did they tell us what it is? Um It's an action comedy. Okay, it's an action comedy. Fine. The action was kind of alright, and the comedy didn't make me laugh, so it kind of failed on two fronts there. I don't know what to tell you. I've had more fun during 
Marvel movies. And I'm very not big on Marvel movies, all right? I don't know, guys. This one's just, this is a hot miss for me. I don't recommend you go and see this. You know, it, especially the last 20 minutes of this movie just make no fucking sense. All the bad guys that have been trying to kill each other for this whole time randomly go, oh, well, fuck, this white wolf guy wants to kill all of us, so I guess we have to be friends now. And they're like, all right, we're fucking friends now. And then this fucking dude's got a vendetta against this guy, and this guy fucking jumps out of a train to save this guy that he just said he didn't fucking like, and he fucking comes in a fucking tangerine truck and kills the chick who we thought was fucking gone. Like, it, <sighs> don't have the words for how much this movie disappointed me all right it just wasn't fucking good i i i i walked in this room really wanting to find something really positive to say about it and i just don't have it get it on redbox guys i don't have a better recommendation for you do not waste your 11 dollars a ticket or however much it is at your local theater to go and see this because you just won't leave happy i can almost guarantee that <sighs> this makes me sad because I really, really wanted to like this movie. But I didn't. So, thanks for sitting and enjoying my little rants. If you also went and saw it and just were let down, I hope this might have been a little cathartic for you. I doubt it. <laughs> um, Yeah, that that's, that's going to be it for me, guys. This just, this one missed the mark and there's no other way around it. Um, I'll let you guys know what's next. Follow my socials down below for updates on what I'll be doing, what project I'll be doing next. I think Sleeping Dogs is coming out next week. The uh, My review of Sleeping Dogs will come out on the 10th anniversary. Hope you enjoy that. Until then, I do.